Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Be sure to catch what could be the best meteor shower of the year next week. Hey there, Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis from the Cincinnati Observatory, and I'll be your guest host this month on Stargazer. Late Monday evening, December 13th through dawn, Tuesday morning of the 14th, we will be treated to the only known asteroid shower. Officially known as the Geminid Meteor Shower, it is, in reality, an asteroid shower because it is the only meteor shower which comes from asteroid debris and not comet debris. Okay, we've got our sky set up for next Monday evening, December 13th, about 9 p.m. your local time, facing east where you'll see some of the brightest stars of winter. The seven bright stars of Orion, especially his red shoulder star, Betelgeuse, and the bright bluish star which marks his knee, Rigel. Below Orion and dazzling brighter than any other star in the sky, you'll easily find Sirius, the brightest star in Orion's hunting companion, Canis Major. Sirius will probably be twinkling and flashing like a diamond in a jeweler's window. Now to Sirius's left, you'll find Procyon, which with Sirius and Orion's bright red star Betelgeuse make a perfect triangle in the eastern sky. Up to Procyon's left, you'll see Castor and Pollux, the two brightest stars of the Gemini twins, for which this Geminid meteor slash asteroid shower is named because all the meteors will appear to originate from the constellation Gemini. Turn around and look southwest, and the first quarter moon will be only about seven degrees away from the bright king of the planets, Jupiter. These two bright lights will give you the signal to start watching for the Geminids in earnest when they set around midnight. Viewing for the Geminids is sometimes good in early evening, so it's worth looking before midnight as well. And as always, you should be as far away from city lights as possible. You may see a few dozen meteors per hour, and by meteors, I mean streaks of light flashing across the sky, which most people commonly call shooting stars. Now, a meteor is nothing more than a tiny speck of space debris which slams into our Earth's atmosphere so fast that its friction heats up the gases in our Earth's atmosphere and causes them to glow like the gases in a neon tube. What we see is a brief streak of light as the speck of space debris burns up and plunges to its fiery death. Typically, when you see a meteor, it's 50 to 80 miles away. Now, a few times every year, our Earth regularly plows into massive concentrations of space debris, which we call meteor streams, but which are really great rivers of comet dust. You see, comets orbit our sun just like the planets, and every time a comet comes close to our sun, it sheds some of its material. Eventually, this comet debris gets spread all along its orbit, and whenever our Earth plows into one of these debris rivers, we experience a meteor shower. The best one usually occurs in August and is called the Perseid meteor shower. But the second best is often December's Geminid meteor shower, which, as I mentioned earlier, differs from all the others because its debris comes from an asteroid called 3200 Phaethon, not a comet. Sky watchers first noticed the Geminids in the mid-1800s, but for more than a century, the shower's parent comet was unknown. Then, in 1983, NASA's infrared astronomy satellite spotted a new asteroid, 3200 Phaethon. Astronomers noticed that Phaethon and the Geminid meteoroid stream follow nearly identical orbits. Now, Phaethon doesn't produce a tail anymore, which means there are no jets of vaporizing debris. So whatever produced the Geminid meteoroids probably happened long ago. They move around the sun in an elliptical path that stretches from inside the orbit of Mercury outward to the asteroid belt, and take one and a half years for each trip. Every year in mid-December, when the Geminid meteor shower is active, Earth passes quite close to Phaethon's orbit, which makes Phaethon a potentially hazardous near-Earth asteroid. It might even hit us one day, but I'm not too worried. Gemini will slowly descend into the west as the night goes by, but to fully enjoy this wonderful event, remember to just keep looking up and say hi to the stars tonight.